Hello to another video with Linux Mint 20 and today we will talk about installing another browser, Waterfox, which is actually Firefox, but uh, it's kind of better version of Firefox, I can say. And I will show you what I mean after a while. Let's go to internet, type what, uh, Waterfox, and this is the browser. You have options. To download but before that I told you that I will show you what is special the very important part is that uh, this is actually um, no telemetry and that's mean it will not send any private information it will not spy on you also will support all extension of Firefox it will have also uh, bootstraps extensions and add-ons so basically it's a Firefox but with uh, all controls which has been removed um, allowing you all extension which has been removed and stop support they will be allowed as well and uh, when you go to different versions not the first button actually you have options for classic and the normal one normal one on the top is what uh, is the existing Firefox the second one is classic I'll download classic and the most important in the library, which I, you just saw it a few seconds ago, Linux Mint 20 support this uh, version. S but in case that in the future you want to install it, just take a look uh, what uh, library has uh, uh, the latest uh, fa Waterfox. When the file is downloaded, right button with the mouse and click extract after it has been extracted you just have to go to the folder inside if you like you can move it to place where it wants to stay because no need installation the, inst the file is just waterfox with no extension right button properties you can just verify that uh, allow execution click double with your mouse if you want you can import from the existing Firefox I don't want to import anything and this is it no no required installation you just can can launch it uh, straight from the folder If we go to prop preferences, I will go briefly to show you every single option inside. So you see what actually the classic Firefox allows you to do. If you like, you can keep automatic updates. I prefer to not uh, using automatic updates. If I want, I will do it. I'm changing actually also the um, proxy. I removing uh, the proxy usabilities. And uh, if you want to stop geolocation sometimes uh, people using it because the store and the website can find where you are also you can uh, allow javascript as well which has been removed from the long long time ago from uh, firefox and other browsers you can select which uh, search engine to use uh, using uh, DuckDuckGo. So that's the options which you have for with uh, Waterfox. This uh, small notification actually show you that you are allowed to choose uh, and change uh, the search engine. But anyway, we already did it. Now, Waterfox doesn't arriving with um, 
icons for the desktop and the menu because it's not installable it's like most look like kind of portable edition so I want to find my own waterfox icon I will save it inside of my Waterfox um, browser folder. The most important is to be transparent so it will not interfere with, uh, with the background. Now, right button on the executable Waterfox file, click on the small icon or square click browse navigate to your uh, waterfox folder or the place where you saved your um, icon select it and here it is the first step is that uh, now you the file it shows uh, the executable files is with the icon if we want to create a shortcut this is the way on the desktop with the right button selecting type the name which you want to appear in press the button browse and navigate to your waterfox folder select the executable file change the icon exactly the same way like before So everything is done, click OK. It will ask you to, do you want to put a shortcut in your menu? I will click yes, but uh, it will not put on the right place. So um, I will remove it after. But that's the way how you can do it, it's straight in the menu. So here it is, now you have a shortcut on the desktop. On the starting menu, right button, configuration, select menu, and on the bottom have uh, editing. As you can see, the waterfox is in uh, categories others. I would like to put it in uh, internet. It's important to uncheck the options because I found that uh, sometime when you have two the same executable files is not really up here so I uncheck from others and the way of creating here shortcut is exactly what we did with the desktop the same procedure You can refresh it from here. And now you'll be able to see it in internet section. You can start it from there, just to show you that it works. And here it is, we are in Waterfox. This is everything what you wanted to show you today. Subscribe if you like and thank you for watching and be with me. Maybe I will see you next time.